Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Era of Majesty. Uh, if you've heard of the game Kingdom, this is very similar. So, press space to continue. This is a basic tutorial. Uh, so up there are the basic windows, storage, craft, building, human control window. Change the equipment to units and increase their stats. This is a task panel, chop task, press Q to choose, mine task, W to choose, gather, kill, and clear. Use A and D to move. Now, choose chop task, chop down some trees, wait for the humans to chop it, um, them down. Choose gather task, pick the logs, wait for the humans to put them in the boxes. Okay, so we got these. So I can go one way or another. So let's do chop task. Do I tell them to do anything, or do I just... Do I mark the trees? Or do they just start chopping? Um, do I have to go back through the tutorial again? Like, I see no... I Oh. There we go. Okay, got it. So I have to right-click and drag to get that to... Wow. Do I, like... Oh, I can right-click the trees, too. Okay, so they should start chopping. Presumably. Okay, there we go. There's the person just rolling out of nowhere to... to chop these in. Yeah, I thought this guy had an axe, but I guess that's false. Okay, so this game is... Interesting. It didn't actually go away. Alright, I'll select those to gather. So this is... This is a lot like Kingdom, but, uh... Might not be as good. Gonna be totally honest about that. How is this T again? I actually don't know what T is. Well, whatever. At least I'm kind of learning the basics, so we could kill a bunch of animals for, like, food and whatnot. Don't know. Okay, so this just means he's, like, following a command. Oh, that tree is falling over. Guess I was wrong. That was a much bigger tree than the other one. Hopefully they grow back or something. It'll be kind of a sad day. Uh, if that's not the case. Okay, so I'm just gonna select to gather and grab a bunch of these resources. Okay, hopefully people will, uh... There's no way, there's no way to undo this gather. Alright, that's fine. Let's set all of this stuff together, gather all this stuff. Like, the thing is, I have no idea if I have limits on what I can gather. Crafting! This is the crafting window. Use your mouse wheel to scroll through the list of recipes. Once you've chosen one you want to create, press the craft button. If you want to create more than one, just scroll that switcher. I'm fairly certain this is very poorly orga uh, organized. Localized? So, we've got a fair amount of things that we can make here, like a fire pit, torches, uh, pickaxes, hoes, hammers, a lot of different weapons. That's fine, so let's leave that alone for the time being. Buildings, building window. Use your mouse wheel, gotcha. So we can do a workbench, a forge, a house. Well, let's start with a workbench. I'm not actually... Oh, I see. It'll show up green if we have enough. Okay, well, let's just select... Let's close storage. Let's do gather task. Let's gather all these up. Because we're going to need to do that anyway. Okay, same thing with these. And move on. So this does feel like a slightly more advanced, slightly lower quality version of Kingdom. You know, a lot of the a lot of the same base mechanics, but okay, it does cap off after a while. But obviously, with like a number of, uh, I mean, it's just not as pretty or uh, as well made, I guess. Let's take a look at storage. So it's starting to fill up. This is very very poorly described. So let's build a workbench. Okay, so I can build a workbench wherever I want. There we go. Now we got storage, can't do that. Farm. Do I not have enough for farming? I've only got three seeds. 
Where the devil do you get all the seeds from? Oh, uh, do W and this? No, Q on that? Q, I don't even know exactly what I told them to go off and get. But hopefully they'll get me some seeds and we can do some farming from there. I don't know what else. Okay, so we'll grab all these things. Yeah, it moves slowly. Which is unfortunate. I assume we'll get more people as we go along. What's this? Ah. And here's the human control menu. Increase their stats, unit strength, vitality, agility, wisdom, spirit. Uh, the guard. Choose when you want someone to, uh, to attack someone. The guard cannot collect items. Okay, so can I... I can change their equipment. What is this? I assume that's HP. Hammer, axe, pickaxe. Doesn't look like there's anything specific about uh, this menu that implies anything. Okay, description. There's no description. So what is this? I don't know what any of the... I assume that gets rid of that one. So we can't do anything there if this... Needs a lot of work. How do I how do I unselect? How do I close? There we go. So I'd like to build a house. We're lacking in all of this junk. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna start mining everything. Cause I honestly can't tell you what else I need to do. Oh, I see. There's like a little mini map thing here. Wow, this actually would have been really nice for for Kingdom. Like, I would actually love to see Kingdom with, like, this level of quality, in a way. Okay, we're going to go over here, gather this stuff. Still no seeds. Not really sure where we get those from. Trees, maybe? It's hard to tell. All right, we might as well s select... Oh, to kill those. Don't have any guards, though. Well, we'll figure that, that out for a later day. Because I think currently we're just going to be, uh... Trying to figure out how to build things and whatever. Uh, uh, the, pro the problem is, like, they had kind of an interesting idea, but without, like, the proper... Like, I don't I don't know what this red is. It doesn't tell me. Without the, like, proper know-how or anything, all of this is just going to kind of go by the wayside. Like, I don't know how to get more seeds. Uh, This is crafting. Board, grass... Like, do we need a board? Do we need, like, any of these things? Placeable decorative. Yes, yeah, so we don't need decorative. Hammer, hoe. But we don't have any metals, so that's meaningless. Can't make any of these. Potions. Yeah. I don't even know what that noise was. It's, it's confusing. I'm like, I want to get into this just because this sort of thing is actually kind of attractive to me. Like, I really like the idea of a side-scrolling city builder uh, type game. Okay, what's this? Do oh, Ta Taki just leveled up. So you can do attack. I really wish they'd actually explain what these did again. I'm gonna go with HP. It, like, it needs tooltips. That, that much is certain. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. I could switch her to be a guard, but she won't gather items anymore. I don't know if that counts as, um... I don't know if that counts for, um... For, like, stumps and whatnot. I'm also really not sure how trees will regrow. Which is a little bit concerning. Because I get the feeling that I should know how to do that. Uh, can I, like, cancel these? Oh, T, cancel. Let's cancel those out. Maybe the stumps will regrow or something. Let's get gather these, and then I'm just gonna do another chop action on the full trees. Like, maybe stumps regrow after a certain period of time, and that's how it works. If not, then I am lost, I am confused, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, while we wait for things to happen, let's talk about this game for a second. So it came out today... And it's like five, six bucks, uh, which is pretty cheap, honestly. So if you want to get into something that's kind of like Kingdom, this will probably be up there. 
uh, just in terms of, like, it's something. Obviously, like, it's lower quality. Can I, like, can I, like, click on this to, nope. I was hoping I could click on that to, like, pan the camera around faster, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. I don't even know what this, this meter is. If that's a meter or if it's just decorative. Honestly, it could be, it could be either. Like, I, I think the peop the developers of this game saw Kingdom and were like, Ooh, that looks fun. But they didn't, like, uh, do anything beyond that. I still don't know how to get more seeds. What is this? Oh. So those are, those are the boxes that currently contain everything. Okay, so we can locate where our resources are hiding. That makes sense. Like, we've got a ton of these resources here. But I truly don't know what to do with them. Because until we can get some more seeds, we're on our own. Oh, somebody else leveled up. Oh, Taki did again. Why is she the only one leveling up? Is it because she's pickaxing stuff? Truly can't tell you what all these stats do, so I'm just going to go with that one. We could go through it again, or I could go back and check my footage. I was kind of not paying attention, because I was assuming I could find this information later, but nope. Yeah, I still don't see any more seeds. And unless we can get... Let's check this. That's crystal, stone, seed. Oh, we have one iron ore. Well, we probably can't do anything with that anyway until we get a forge. Uh, because I was going to say maybe we could get, like, a hoe, but that doesn't work. Oh! Oh! Uh, let's see. Crafting. Okay, so we can make wooden planks. Oh, bricks. So that's where you get some of these. Is there a place where I can get... Seeds. Sapling. Okay, so I can do placeable tree, but I need more things. Need a magic forge for that, so hopefully the trees just grow back. Weapon rack. So most of those are useless. Let's go back up to this. So, stone brick we can make. Wood planks we can make. Let's make six planks, if I can. Now let's go back and take a look at this. So we need... that's iron. What do we need for a forge? Eight planks. And then we can start making a forge. Unfortunately, since we have no iron, that becomes a little bit harder, but still. I don't know exactly what's going on here. I might have just told them to make a ton of planks, but I guess that could could be worse. Yeah, do the trees grow back? That's the other question. Okay. Well, something got made. It looks like my people are too busy running around gathering stuff to do anything else. Well, that's okay. You don't have any guards. It's probably still yelling at me because of the whole, like kill animal thing. Looks like they're picking this stuff up. Okay. So I should be able to make a forge now. Interesting. I can put the forge right next to the workbench. That seems wrong to me. Okay. So we can work on that. Still can't make that mine magic forge. Oh. I can make a mine. Okay. So we'll start making a mine. Maybe that's maybe that's where I get some of these other materials. I'm still not sure where to get seeds from. Maybe you get them from a hoe. Possibly. Uh, let's see. Let's check these characters. Whoa, hi? Who's this person? We've got Tarky. So, did we just get... Yeah, we did. We've got another person hanging out somewhere around here. You. No? Well, we're, we're up to four people now. Uh, so let's take a look at Tarky. Main hand. Yeah, so 
we're gonna need to um, get some more gear. That's what the mine will be for. Okay, so... Wait, that's a magic forge. I want to just a regular forge. What's the difference? Wait, what? Huh? Alright, I guess we made a magic forge. Purely on accident. News to me. Alright, uh, let's see. No, we want to do... Can I make an iron ingot? No. So we need a ton of... A ton of stuff for that. Do we need iron ingots? Wait. Highly, holy neighbory. No, do we need like 20, 40, 50? Okay, you build... You build mine. Press right mouse button to send unit with pickaxe inside. Press middle mouse button to make unit exit the mine. Gotcha. So I think she'll go inside the mine. And just mine. Okay, so she'll be pulling out some people who've been seen near town. Okay. One second. Uh, pause. Nope. Okay, you... Guard. How do I guard? How do I make guard? You don't have any guards. How do I do... How do I do guard? We have warrior. Okay, you get out of there. Are you? Are you the evil person? I don't have any guards, though. Oh, there we go. I... I'm very confused. How do we make guard? Like, I don't know how to tell a character to be a guard. Did we kill them? No, she's just fighting our shit. And my characters are... stupid. You don't have any guards. How do I select a guard? How do I make... how do I make a guard? Are you gonna fight her now? No. Alright. Well, now we win. Okay. So now we're down to two people because... Wow! I, uh... I honestly don't get it. However, uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, at this point I'm gonna stop and give up. We've already lost half my population to, near as far as I can tell, extraordinary amounts of ADHD. I don't know how to set guards. I should go back and watch, like, the tutorial thing again. But, like, it didn't- it just said guard. This person can't pick up items. But, like, I clicked the button, and as far as I can tell... Yeah, Lonely Orc has been seen near town, so we have another- we have an orc coming in to murder my people. That's- that's great. Let's go over here and take a look at it. Yeah, so I think part of it is these guys took their prior commands. Yeah, they're fucked. New unit arrived. Well, I've got a third person. But, uh, they were, they were more interested in these prior commands than anything else. So, Kala level 1. So, I don't, I don't know what any of these things mean. And I think we need to start over. But, let's give basic impressions. So, honestly, this seems deep enough that I kind of want to keep going with it, just to see where I can go and what I can do with it. My impressions right now are kind of bad, but honestly, I think that has to do with the extraordinarily poor, uh, localization of like the game and the dialogue and whatnot uh the unclear tutorials goals and whatnot like kingdom you knew exactly what you were doing oh yeah trees do grow back okay good to know um but you know it just was not clear what i was supposed to do and so as such i screwed myself in the end and i might be able to like come back from this maybe i don't know i i truly can't tell you i feel with like a lot more polish this could actually be something really good and I want to see where it goes, so I'm probably going to play, like, I'm probably going to play for the next week or so, and we'll see uh, if I can actually make, like, a sustainable culture here. It doesn't seem like my people starve, uh, even though there's, like, food and farming. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's, like, HP related. I truly can't tell you. Uh, but I think we've learned some important lessons, like, don't over overstretch your resources and get that farm up immediately and figure out how to make a goddamn guard.
So we'll just go through that again next time around. But, uh, I don't know. The game's five bucks. That's part of the reason why I'm not just being like, this is a piece of crap. Even though, like, this person's gonna come in and murder, murder my guys. I could... Oh, yeah, they've got two weapons, too. Like, I could tell them to fight? Let's do this. Oops. God damn it. Wow, that's not good. Well, let's see what happens when I get the game over. Yeah, this, this guy is still going. Oh, we did kill her. We didn't get anything from it, though, but... Uh... Yeah, they, they will not, like, combat commands will not uh, take precedence over anything else for worker units. So we need to get a guard, for sure. I don't know how leveling works, though I guess Pina has gotten there. I guess getting some more HP in the future is a good idea, too. Well, either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I, I, I'm at a block, and I don't want to progress without learning how to play this better, and, um... Just, I mean, obviously, I need to start over. My population is just going to get culled over and over and over again until we get a proper guard and it'd just be easier if I started over and did things the right and proper way without losing anybody so early on. So, is this game worth it? I don't know, five bucks. Like, usually usually games are priced, priced like 15 and I'm like, nah. This one's five and I'm like, eh. If you really liked Kingdom and you wanted to try something a little bit deeper, this might go there. It might also be a complete pain in the ass, I don't know. Um, but I'd like to see wh where it goes, what I can do with it, because it seems like it's got potential. Um, which I guess is nice. That orc is going to murder my people, too. <sighs> but it's going to need some patches, and some serious localization work. Um, and clarity, and user interface. But, uh, I don't know, it's interesting enough. So, if you liked this impressions slash, like, first episode of Let's Play, uh, in any way, shape, or form... Leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you know how to play this game better, please let me know in a polite manner that's actually clear, because I think I, <laughs> I'm in trouble otherwise. Um, but, uh, a yeah, new unit arrived. I like how they just spawn out of nowhere, too, which is great. And they never have anything. Well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to do at least, you know, 5-10 episodes of this. Until I've got, like, a general mastery of it, just because it, it's there, it's playable. Uh, just a matter of, like, getting through the extraordinarily, uh, thick localization to figure it out from, um, past that point. So, like I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.